Hi, this is Kumaran from AEL Technologies. This video is about NX 10.0 Introduction to Drafting Chapter 2 Creating Drawings. Under this, we will be covering Drawing Borders and Zones, Invoking Drafting Application in NX 10.0, New Drawing Creation, Model Based Workflow Method, Standalone Workflow Method, and No Drawing State. Let's see our first topic Drawing Borders and Zone. On the left hand side, I have shown a picture of NX 10.0 drawing environment having no border and zones. This is just an empty template. And on the right hand side, I have shown a picture of a drawing template having title block, revision table, and borders and zone indicators. Let us see this in UG environment. I have invoked a drafting application with a drawing sheet having no views created. This dashed line indicate the working area of our drawing views. This is the placeholder area where the drawing views and other engineering information will be incorporated like orthographic views, isometric views projection views, important nodes, bill of materials, etc. To the bottom right corner, we have shown the title block and to any engineering drawing, title block is mandatory as this will hold the very basic information of the drawing such as your angle of projection and your dimensional units and other information like part title and drawing number, sheet revision, scale and number of sheets etc. And for our tutorial we have just used the default UGNX Siemens template. On the top right corner we have shown the revision table and this is helpful to understand the revision history of the engineering drawing. And it is not mandatory that the revision table has to be located on the top right corner. It can be either placed on the top left or on the bottom depending on the requirement and the standards. The border zone, left and right verticals will be indicated with an alphabet and top and bottom horizontals will be indicated with the numbers. This alpha numeric combination will be very helpful to indicate our drawing views location, especially when we are working with multi sheet drawings. This is just a single sheet drawing. You can identify whether it is a single sheet drawing or a multi sheet drawing from the number of sheets or from your part navigator. A multi sheet drawing is nothing but a drawings which has more number of sheets. This square boxes a blue color line is called as grid views and depending upon the convenience we can either work with grids or without grids. To turn it on or off your grids, go to drawings, right click and turn off your grid. So your grid will go off and you can see the plain drawing. If you want to work with your grid, just go to drawings from the part navigator, right click and turn it on. Let me show you how to invoke the drafting application now? Go to File, All Applications, Drafting. This will invoke the drafting application. From the ribbon menu toolbar, you can identify which environment you are. Say this ribbon indicates the necessary tools for drafting, and the ribbon menus will automatically changes based on the environment. For example, you go to file, all application, select modeling and 
you can notice the toolbar changes in the menus here the toolbar has been populated which is necessary to generate your 3d models let's go back to our drafting application so now let me show you how to create a new drawing file go to file new the alternate keyboard shortcut for this operation is control n and this will take us a dialog box where you can see multiple tabs used for each individual environment so now we are in drawing and under this you can see templates filters file names and part to create a drawing of the templates will display the available templates depending upon the filters you have selected from the resource bar under filters we have two options one is relationship and another one is the units you have to choose your units depending upon your requirement either inches or millimeters mm and this will indicate the available templates from your resource bar you can choose either one of it based on your requirement this name text box will allow us to provide the name for the file which we are creating so currently let me put drafting tutorial tutorial and this text box indicates our destination location where the file has to be saved in 